I went to meet three generations of women in Oaxaca who all cook together. The Navarro family is famous for its quesadillas, folded tortillas filled with cheese and here courgette flowers. Así los flores de calabaza. Ah, qué increíble. These are courgette flowers and they are so beautiful. They grow everywhere. Courgettes are Mexican. They come from Mexico. And because they're so plentiful, they do anything with them. They go in all the food. And this, this is the amazing cheese from Oaxaca. Queso Oaxaqueño. It's a string cheese and you pull it apart and it melts beautifully. Mm. I'm just, it's so delicious, fresh tasting, slightly salty. It's a bit like mozzarella. First the maize is ground on a stone matate. Then the dough is pressed to make a tortilla. Each tortilla is pressed several times. Once it's thin enough, it's skillfully placed on the kamal, a hot plate over burning wood. A little bit of fat is added along with the other ingredients. Finally, it's folded in half and sealed. Here's how I make mine. Quesadillas are toasted tortillas packed with cheese and any type of filling you want. I think they're rather like pizzas. I love to do them when you're watching a movie or a big game, you've got some friends around and you just put loads of fillings out on the table and let people fill them with whatever they want. This filling is one of my absolute favorites and you can find on every street stand in Mexico City, chorizo and potato. All I'm doing is I've diced my cooking chorizo. It's not the salami type, it's the cooking type. So it's just like a sausage. I'm just gonna add it to my frying pan. I've got some sweated down onions and garlic in here. And all I've done is cook them until they're soft. And I'm throwing in the chorizo now so that it lets all that wonderful oil out into the pan. And to that pan, we're gonna add our potatoes. Now this dish really is perfect because I've just got some leftover spuds from last night and I'm just gonna dice them up. So they're already cooked and it doesn't matter. I've got the skin on here. It's just gonna be chucked into the pan. And the most important thing here is the flavor. And I'm cooking down the chorizo and the smell coming off this is delicious and it's releasing all its oil full of the flavors of the garlic and the cumin and the chili. And I'm gonna add the potatoes to this to soak up all that oil. And look at that, the potatoes really absorbing all those wonderful oils. So now I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of seasoning. Fresh thyme, wonderful with chorizo. And lots of black pepper. Make sure those potatoes are really heated through and the chorizo is cooked and then we're ready to stuff. So now all I need to do is turn it out into a bowl because I'm gonna use the same pan to cook the actual quesadilla in. Minimise the washing up. Absolutely delicious. So that's the filling done. Now for the fun bit, toasting the quesadilla. Now this is so easy and it's gonna take minutes. I've got my pan, it's still hot. I'm just gonna throw my tortilla in like that and I'm gonna grate some cheese over it. Now I've got some cheddar here, but you can use anything. Cheddar, mozzarella is really great or even a mixture of the two is fantastic and the heat from the pan is gonna make it melt onto the tortilla. Be crisp on the outside with oozing cheese in the middle. It's as simple as that. So now I'm just putting the filling down one side of it because I wanna then fold it over so I can cook it on both sides. So I fill up one half. It's really tempting to overfill it, but then it's impossible to eat and it all falls out. So you can always make more tortillas. So just don't overcrowd it. And I'm just gonna fold it over now. Just pick up the edges with my spatula. Oh, and it's already looking so good. At this point, you can just brush on a little bit of olive oil for extra flavor, or you can keep it super healthy with none at all. Either way, it's gonna crisp up, and I'm just gonna flip it over the other side. Oh, and it's looking gorgeous already. This is done. I'm gonna place it up at once, ready to eat. It's ready in minutes and of course no piece of Mexican street food would be right without salsas on and I've got some great mission ones here. I've got this light citrusy salsa verde, delicious, 
got my favourite one, the chipotle, a smoky chilli one. And the last one, a classic mild tomato salsa.